Hi guys, it's MTG here, and the Samsung Galaxy S8 has an impressive screen on it. But if you want to keep it in perfect condition one or two years down the line, you're going to have to put a good screen protector on it. Since owning this phone, I've had many screen protectors, whether they be glass or film, because I'm very picky on how the screen looks with a protector on it. If dust starts accumulating underneath, or if the screen scratches easily, I'm going to look elsewhere. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Skinomi TechSkin screen protector. It's only around $8 on Amazon, and I've used this as my main screen protector for the past three months. I'm going to show you how to install it and give you my thoughts on the screen protector. Many people will go to a company like Zag to get their screen protector installed for them, even though the screen protector costs five times more than the same quality screen protector elsewhere. Others will try to install it themselves, but they end up with a very bubble-ridden phone. Today I'm going to show you how to install the screen protector bubble-free, even if it's your first time. First off, I get the things that I know I will need for the installation. Scotch tape, a microfiber cloth, glass cleaner, and a car. Then I see what the screen protector includes in their packaging. A cleaning solution, small cloth, and the screen protectors themselves. I start the process by cleaning the screen completely. By completely, I mean that I do not want a single speck of dust on the screen because dust is what causes those irremovable bubbles. With the water-resistant S8, you don't have to be afraid of spraying liquid directly on the screen. I just use any old glass cleaner and clean the screen up with a microfiber cloth. I then use the smaller, included microfiber cloth to dry the screen and get bigger pieces of dust off. At this point, it is essential to get the scotch tape and use it to pick up any remaining pieces of dust that may have trickled onto the screen. Once all the dust is removed, you have to act quickly so you don't let more dust fall onto the screen. Get the included spray solution and spray your fingertips and generously spray the screen. Remove the screen protector, spray the back of it, and begin to align it on the phone. The S8 has good guides at the top cutouts where the speaker, iris scanner, and camera are located. But make sure the bottom is aligned as well, as there is no home button to align with. Once it's straight, use the card you have and put the included cloth around it so you don't scratch the protector, and get the bigger portions of liquid out from underneath it. Then, use your fingers and start to try and adhere the protector onto the curves of the screen. To do this, make small motions outwards to push excess solution out at the same time. Go around the phone multiple times and just make sure that the screen protector is properly adhering to the screen. When the screen protector is on, you might see small pockets of moisture still underneath. If these can't be removed with the card and cloth, then they will dry in about 24 hours or so. At this point, don't put your phone in a case and try to leave it out to dry for as long as possible. After 24 hours, it should look a lot better and the visible moisture under the screen should have significantly reduced. After waiting a day, once again, go around the side of the phone and push down the screen protector along the edges to ensure that it's secure. I really like this screen protector because it not only goes over the curves of the phone, but also doesn't get lifted up by any cases. Any case that I've tried does not affect the screen protector whatsoever. The quality of the screen protector is also excellent. The self-healing properties also work great. The other day I got a big scratch across the bottom of my phone and was just about to install a new one. But the next day when I realized the scratch had disappeared, it now looks perfect again. Content on the screen will look exactly how it would without the screen protector on it. The only issue that I find in these film screen protectors is the fact that there is this orange peel effect. It does not hinder the viewing or even any functionality, but it just doesn't feel perfectly smooth like glass does. All in all, this screen protector has been great. It's been on my screen for about 3 months now and seems to be still going strong. Price aside, this screen protector seems just as good as more expensive brand name protectors. But when we delve into the price and see that at the time of making this video, it's only $8 on Amazon, it makes it a no-brainer decision. If you are considering a screen protector at all, the $8 price tag on the Skinomi Tech Skin makes it a great purchase that I'd highly recommend. If you liked that video, please give this video a thumbs up. 
I'm working on a lot of new content right now, so click the logo down below to subscribe. If you'd like a behind the scenes look at what I'm up to, go to the description to find a link to my Twitter account. And again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.